Hi, I'm Alana. Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to Pinch of English, Dash of Morocco, the official podcast of the American Language Center. Today, we're going to talk about superstitions. Um, the reason why we thought of this topic, because tomorrow is uh, Friday the 13th. Yes. And uh, Alana had the idea of, uh, you know. Yeah, so... As soon as we were talking about um, when to record, mm -hmm. and we we're like, oh, let's meet on Thursday the 12th. And I was like, oh, that's uh, that's uh, going to be right by Friday the 13th. Yeah. And you didn't know this. No. But um, in American culture, like 13 in general is a bad number. Um, and so and then for some reason, they decide that Friday the 13th is like a really bad number. Um, day. Yeah. Like, what, why the combination? Like fr it has to be like Friday and 13? No. Well, 13 on its own is bad. Uh -huh. And then Friday the 13th is just supposed to be a day that bad things happen. Like um, that is a horror movie, right? Help me out more. So okay. So it is a, the name of a horror movie is Friday the 13th, uh -huh. like when the 80s, I think 80s or 70s horror movies is Friday the 13th. Um, And there's another movie with Lindsay Lohan called Freaky Friday, where she switches places with her mom. And I think that's Friday the 13th, too. Mm -hmm. So like any other day, if it's the 13th, it's supposed to be fine. But if it's Friday the 13th, like... Like it's the, it's the combination. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, for days. Um, uh -huh. Like you don't want to have a big exam on Friday the 13th because it's you're like, oh, no, it's going to be bad. Um, <laughs> And then 13 on its own is supposed to be a bad number. Um, just, uh, I don't know. And again, like bad, like it's just in general, like um, you might fall, you might miss your bus, you might like fail an exam. So it's just um, anything with 13 people are like, not everyone, mm -hmm. just the superstitious people are kind of like, ooh. And um I don't think they do this anymore, but in the past, maybe like 50, 100 years ago, um, they would actually like in a building, they would not put a floor 13. Oh, they would go from 12 to 14. Oh, wow. Just because like people would not want to have that. <laughs> so even if it's technically, yes, like the next one after 12 is 13, they would call it floor 14. Um, I don't know if I've noticed that like when I was in a building but I've heard like mm -hmm. um, I think government buildings even they would just skip 13 oh so like it's a strong superstition that... do you believe in it <laughs> <laughs> I don't know like with most superstitions it's like I don't can't say I believe in it because like there's no explanation yeah, like yeah. why 13 um and there's not even like who does the bad luck where you know like But it is, again, like when we said, oh, let's um, record right before the thir Friday the 13th, I yeah. was like, oh. So it's just that kind of like irrational fear. Yeah. Of, yeah. Um, but when you think about it, it's like, no, why would I be scared of that? But again, and yeah. we're going to go through our lists of superstition. And for all of them, I have no explanation. Yeah, me like, too. <laughs> if pushed, I would be like, I shouldn't believe in this, but it does like, you know. It does make me do things like that have no good explanation. Yeah. Um, are there any numbers in Moroccan culture uh, that are bad luck? Numbers, as far as I know, no. Okay. No. Uh -huh. So we have other stuff, but numbers, no. No. So like what? Like for example, um, actually, this one it's 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 not a number, but it's it's related to a number. Mm -hmm. You know, khmisa. Yeah, the hands. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, some people believe that khmisa, mm -hmm. which which refers to the five fingers uh -huh. of of the hand, okay. it's like um, they like uh, put it as a protection from the evil eye. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. you might find it like on doors. Mm -hmm. You might find it in cars. You might find it. Some people like put for, for women. They put it like as a necklace. Yeah. So they believe that it protects you from from the evil eye. Okay. So yeah. this is the only one I think it has a number, but it's not, it's not about the number. It's about like, um, protect. Yeah. Yeah. The hand. The, the hand. hand. Yeah. Okay. It's like, for example, when, when, when someone is talking to you and you want like to stop his <laughs> evil eye, you okay. just, you, you can do some, sometimes you can do just like this. And they, they'll know like. Yeah. Like, and then you might do it like, uh, 
You don't want to show it uh, yeah, secretly. secretly. Yeah, it's insulting. So the evil eye usually comes from compliments or jealousy, right? Bo- both, yeah. So yeah. So if someone's like, I I'd imagine if like you could tell someone's jealous, you wouldn't do it so that you wouldn't do this to their face. No. Uh, you would do that secretly. Yeah, I I think all the time you do it like secretly. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's, yeah. Um, but if someone's like complimenting you too much, would you do that and they would be fine with it? No, no? secretly again, or, secretly. or just say, keep saying, oh, tbarkla, tbarkla. Okay. So, so like, you're just like yeah. stopping. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like if, for example, if they, because some people, they don't wish you good and they start talking. So yeah. you're, you're trying to protect yourself. I don't know if this, there is no explanation Again, for this one yeah, too. With all of them or not. Yeah. We're not going into the science <laughs> of superstition. Or yeah. But there so. are some people who believe in it. And I see, uh, you know, Khmisa on doors. I see it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I see women wearing it. So yeah. it's really, really common. And even like now with uh, Moroccan design and decor being so popular, you'll see stuff in the U.S. like for sale with the Khamisa. Yeah, and like, yeah. I don't know if people know like what it's for. They just think, oh, this is a cool design. Yeah. I'm sure some know it. Yeah. Some take for. it for the charm. Mm-hmm. Because I do have a Khamisa, but I don't yeah. put it like for, for, for that, yeah. uh, you know, purpose. Just- and some people believe it's, it's, they don't really actually remove it. Okay, so, so it's, it's, it's yeah, okay. it's like they keep it protection. with them because like, protection. Okay, yeah. So okay. Um, this is the the first one, like the very common one. And so yeah, that's like the protection side from the super, evil eye. Yeah. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Um, well, I'll go. I'll tell about. Okay, I'll talk about something like a protection mm-hmm. now, since you talked about protection thing. Yeah. Um, this one, again, there's no, uh, I'm not going to explain how it works, mm-hmm. but if you say something like, oh, I've never broken my leg or I've never broken a bone. If you say that something has bad has never happened to you, mm-hmm. you're supposed to knock on wood. You're supposed to like tap wood. Like, uh, and, not, uh-huh. and that's supposed to, because it's like saying, oh, I've never broken a bone. It's like, oh, you're kind of inviting fate you're testing uh-huh. um fate to do it to you because you're like oh it's never happened to me it's kind of like well now it's going to happen oh um and again there's no science and like i do knock on wood if i think of it or if like you know someone that i love says something like that i'm like knock on wood or do it for them because i'm like don't say it. it's never i'm like it's going to happen to you now um so it's supposed to like not invite that to so do you knock on wood to keep your current situation existing or yeah. so the, uh, you knock on wood so something bad doesn't happen? Yeah, it's for something bad not to happen. Okay. Okay. So it's again, if I say I've never broken a bone, it's like inviting that to happen to me. It's like whatever's out there. Again, there's no explanation. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like, oh, she's never broken a bone. Let's go make her break a bone. Um, <laughs> not like there's a conscious, but yeah. Um, you know, fate or like, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. and so it's kind of saying this has never happened to me. It's like, oh, well, maybe it should happen. Um, so then you knock on wood to prevent it from Some happening, happening because mm-hmm. you said, okay. because you kind of invited it. Uh-huh. So strange, no explanation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For most <laughs> of the ones I have, there's no scientific or logical explanation for any yeah. one of them, yeah. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. It's yeah. just culture kind of myth or like yeah, yeah. um what yeah I, the one others? i have n- I, the next i think we have it in common because it's uh related to black cats yeah oh yeah they say yeah. for example if you well, like uh, see uh, like a black cat mm-hmm. then it brings bad luck especially for example it's the first thing you saw in the morning okay so yeah, yeah, yeah. then your day is going to be like ruined and then you, it's it's like bad luck yeah i think you you have this one too it, it's the same it's just uh, very specifically like it has to cross your path so if you're like driving or walking oh. down the street and a cat crosses in front of you uh-huh. that's supposed to bring bad luck um okay and again it's just like what the bad luck is we don't know but it's supposed to be bad luck um and they also say like witches have black cats as their pets. Um, mm-hmm. There's just this very negative um, association with them. So even like 
even on social media, I'll see people being like black, you know, trying to promote black cats as not being scary. Yeah, or they're spooky. beautiful. Yeah, they're, yeah. Um, I used to have a black cat named Miss Kitty, and um, yeah. so yeah, she's really sweet and affectionate. Um, so yeah, it's yeah. I don't yeah, know yeah, why. I've seen black cats many times, and nothing, nothing <laughs> yeah. bad happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I don't know why people just pick on black cats. Yeah. So. It's it, it again. There is no no explanation. Yeah. It just goes from I think from a generation to another, yeah. we, and nobody's asking about the explanation. So we just take it like that because that's what we heard from our parents and parents yeah. they heard it from their parents. So it's like going like that. And who knows where it came from? Since both like yeah, and, yeah, yeah both because cultures. we both have it in yeah. common. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so we don't really know the origin of this one. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's I think it's really interesting when something like. With no explanation is shared across. Oh, yeah, like, all over the very, world. Like, yeah, far, yeah, far yeah. Yeah. I think also this one is 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 a common one between between us. Yeah. The umbrella. Yeah, we talked. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So tell tell me about the umbrella one. Yeah, I mean for for us, you you should not like open the umbrella indoors. Yeah. Again, because it brings bad luck, or sometimes it brings like arguments in like inside oh, of the family. Okay. And, yeah. uh, yeah, so, uh, you should avoid opening an umbrella indoors, like moving your keys indoors okay, for, yeah, that. for no reason. We don't have that. And also like playing with scissors for no reason. Oh, yeah. So all of these three mm -hmm. means like, uh, could bring bad luck and also create arguments and in, like inside of the, the family. Okay. Like family. Problem. Yeah. So oh, I, for example, when I. When I was a kid and uh, I, I was just playing with keys because I don't know. Yeah. So, and then my grandmother starts saying, oh, no, don't play with that. No, that would create problems. <laughs> Do they oh, create a problem? I don't think. Okay. I mean, the problems yeah. can happen yeah, yeah, to any family. And kids don't always know. Yeah. Like, so something's... it's not really because I played yeah. with keys, the problem happened. Yeah. It could have happened without the, you know, yeah. me playing with the, the keys. So these are all related because you should not do them like indoors in the house, in like the in house. The family yeah. yeah yeah we don't um again for us it's like yes don't open umbrellas inside mm -hmm. um but there's no like specific consequence so we don't have the family argument um attached to it mm -hmm. but um keys are fine like I've, we don't have that mm -hmm. one as far at least like i've, I've never heard of yeah. it maybe some people mm -hmm. too, i've never heard of it and scissors like so some of these, like we don't have the scissor things either, but sometimes I wonder if these, if like kids do things and they're dangerous. So the parents kind of say, oh, don't do that. It will, yeah, you know, maybe. It will, it's bad luck or it'll cause mm -hmm. problems. So like opening an umbrella, like I, I don't want my kids playing with umbrellas no matter what, because it could poke their eye. Yeah, yeah. It could break, you know, if it is actually raining, um, it can make a mess. So I would rather not, my kids not play with umbrellas. Yeah. Um. So and like scissors, obviously you of don't course. want um kids playing with scissors. Like no one should play with scissors. Yeah. And keys that could be really annoying, especially mm -hmm. if you have a headache or are trying to take a nap. So sometimes I wonder if some of these superstitions are um just parents telling their kids like something bad will happen if they do it and yeah. they just don't want the kids to but it's also it. related related to adults not only kids but maybe they grew up hearing it. yeah so maybe like someone said it and then it kind of stuck yeah maybe maybe so yeah, maybe yeah um i heard a i saw on tiktok a video where a woman said she told her kids that if they lie Mm -hmm. Like a star appears on their forehead mm -hmm. and only adults could see it. And she said now, like she knows when her kids are lying because they, they cover the forehead. <laughs> so, I mean, I have to admit, like, yeah, parents do tell weird lies yeah. to their kids. So yeah. I do wonder if like some of these superstitions just came out of like parents possibly, to possibly. Their yeah. Kids. Who knows? <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. Let me. I'll do one that's um, not good or bad. It's just happens. And this one isn't like so scary. It's if your uh, ear starts ringing, like making that kind of buzzing noise that's like inside your ear, not coming from outside. Mm -hmm. It just means that someone's talking about you. Um, so, for example, if we're sitting and we're talking about someone we know 
and the and not nothing bad, but we're just talking about them. And the person comes, and we could be like, "Oh, um, hi, were your ears ringing? We were just talking about you." So it's not like it's not good or bad. It's just um, like, "Oh, my ears ringing. I wonder who's talking about me." Mm-hmm. Um, so again, that's like kind of a fun one. That's not very serious. We have something like this in like the meaning. For example, if me and you, for example, we're talking and we're talking about Morsi. Mm-hmm. And then Morsi comes in. So we said, oh, we just were talking about yeah, you. So yeah. it's like he comes this the minute we were talking about him. Okay. Yeah. So we have this one. And also when your eyebrows itches. Okay. It means, for example, if the right eyebrow itches, oh. it means that someone is praising you. Okay. And if the left one is itching, that means someone is talking like bad about you that's a lot more useful (laughs) (laughs) i prefer that one like i'd rather know like what it is (laughs) that one's useful and also Um, when you're like brushing your hair uh and for some reason the brush fall Uh falls it means that someone's talking like bad about you yeah bad yeah i'm going to hold on (laughs) i mean these things could happen i mean you could get like an itchy eyebrow because of other stuff yeah, i mean yeah and then the brush might fall because of you're clumsy yeah or, yeah or your hair is not really so you're yeah yeah so there yeah. are some explanation for yeah for it needs to happen yeah. yeah for those i think it's kind of fun like it's not yeah, like it's yeah. not like bad luck it's just like ooh, someone's talking yeah, someone's, about me yeah, yeah that's what i say yeah. when, when every time like my eyebrow itches oh i wonder who's talking about me especially if it's the right yeah, side. yeah. <laughs> i wonder who's talking about me <laughs> yeah those are fun those, yes, yeah yeah those are not the serious one no okay. no no um let's do a okay this one's kind of weird and it's a good luck one, but it's kind of gross depending on how you think of it. Like in the U.S., and I don't know if it happens anymore mm-hmm. because people now care a little more about animals than they did in the past. You would actually have like a foot of a dead rabbit. A and foot? Like a foot of a dead rabbit with the fur and everything. And they'd make it into a keychain uh-huh. and they'd say it's good luck. Uh, wow. like, so they use rabbits for, you know, to make clothing. So I guess they would like cut off the feet, make keychains and sell it mm. as good luck. And to now, like to me now, that seems really barbaric. Like that yeah, seems like that's really cool. old. Wow. Um, like, I never heard of this one. Yeah. And I don't know if I ever had one, but like tons of friends, like it was really normal when I was in primary school that like people would have like rabbit's feet keychains on their backpacks. And I can't even remember how it feels like touching it. Mm-hmm. It's disturbing. Now, yeah. Like, it's I'm really just, disturbing yeah, just to hearing just... or talking about it is it's really. And they would like color the fur like pink or green. Um, yeah. It's a rabbit's lucky rabbit's foot. It's strange, huh? Oh, like wow. Now, it's yeah. It's like 30 years on and you're like, oh, that was really weird. Um, yeah. Yeah, it so, is. Yeah. Yeah. That I'll have to see if you can, like, if it's still a thing. I don't think it is. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. I never heard of this one. People yeah, are never. weird. Yeah. I, didn't, I don't know. Again, like who did someone just like, like I said, where people just like using rabbit fur and clothes and say, oh, what are we going to do with the feet? Let's make them into keychains yeah. and like pretend they're good luck. Hmm. I don't know. So yeah, that one's odd. Yeah, again, and I'm still in the itching part. Oh, yeah. (laughs) What's itching? (laughs) So it's um, when your palms itches. Okay. It does happen. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it happens first like because of a skin condition. Yeah. For example, eczema or if you use the product, cleaning product. Mm -hmm. So it it could cause that. But people say that it's related to money. Oh. Getting or... Uh, yeah right. re- receiving money or uh, giving money okay so if your left palm itches it means that you'll get money oh left is good in this uh, one. no uh right right, right. yeah okay. sorry okay. i have okay. problem with directions <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> i'm so sorry <laughs> so if your right palm itches yeah it means that you'll get money okay and then it means the opposite for the the left, left one, one. Okay. yeah so pay attention. Now. Yeah. So if you like, if you like, for example, some people, I can see some people till now, if their palms itches, oh, I'm going to receive money. Uh. Oh, <laughs> or if they say, oh, yeah. I'm going to like lose, lose money. money. Yeah. So it's related to money. I'm only going to touch like cleaning products with my right hand. <laughs> yeah. Just wear right. a glove on my left okay. hand and yes. like go 
No glove. Oh my yeah, heart. because scientifically, they just they said like it it could re- be related to skin condition, yeah, like allergies, the allergies, yeah, eczema, yeah. using the wrong products for yeah. cleaning like the house or yeah. uh, washing the dishes. So this c- could cause like the itching, yeah. uh, like, like anywhere else on you. Yeah. it's like normal to itch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. mosquito bites. <laughs> Um, and also when it itches here, for is, example, when uh-huh. you're, 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 you're talking and it's very normal and you itch mm-hmm. here, like, uh, yeah, like, fu- like you feel fuzz or yeah, something. Yeah. Uh, you're like going to like meet a new person. Oh, yeah. Not okay. a new person, someone, you know, but you'll meet them for like, like you're going to run into them. Yeah. And chance. also say hi and hug them oh, and all that. Okay. So every time we do this, like, oh, I'm going to meet someone today. Okay. Yeah. Oh, fun. Yeah. Okay. Those are fun. Like, yes, again, those, yes. Like, there's no harm in these like, ones. Yeah, no bad match or yeah. bad luck. Um, okay, let me... Uh, I'll do a bad luck one. Um, okay. Breaking a mirror. All and right. I would say of my le- list, um, breaking a mirror is the worst. And they say if you break a mirror, you get seven years bad luck. Wow. So it's like a long time. That's a long um, time. And I'm actually, again, I would say, like, why do I believe in it? I don't know. I like to think I'm a rational person, but I don't want to break a mirror. I don't want something. I did. I (laughs) did. Recently. Not not recently, but it happens. Not only once, I think, in my lifetime. It happens multiple times. Oh, yeah. It definitely happens. I don't know if I have in the last seven years, so. So um, you avoid like yeah I'd be I would be if I broke a mirror I would be sad really <laughs> <laughs> so again like I hate saying I believe these but uh-huh. they do like seep into your subconscious or like your thinking like ooh like this isn't good yeah so, yeah it's yeah and again like what bad luck is who knows but um, seven years of it you don't want that of um, course of any course more rabbit's feet <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, yeah. And I mean, for like my bad luck things, there's no, there's only like bad luck and good luck. There's no like, if you do this, you have to do this. Like the, the Hamsa you said. Yeah. Um, if you think you're getting the evil eye, you should do the Hamsa. Like this one's, there's no like, if this bad luck thing happens, you can reverse it by doing Yeah. It. So you don't have anything like to protect you, for example, from bad luck or from. You do. It's just not like, I wish like, it's like, oh, if you broke a mirror and then you like, I'll talk about this one um, for good luck. It's with salt. But if you break a mirror, maybe rub salt into the cracks and that would, you know, reverse. The yeah. Bad so luck. Th- there is a solution no, for that one. No, no there's no solution. I wish there was. Uh, okay. Maybe I will do it. I'll just do it. <laughs> yeah, create, create my own. One. <laughs> yeah. Create my own one. Why not? Yeah. Um, it's better to have a solution than seven years bad luck. So. Yeah. And of course, I think it's one of those things that like whatever you're thinking, it kind of creates. So if you're like, oh, I broke a, you know, I broke a mirror last year. This is why all these bad things are happening. Yeah. It kind of changes your thinking into thinking this is why the bad things are happening. Not because I didn't study for my exam or I didn't do what I needed to do or I'm sick because I stayed up, you know, binging Netflix series. Like it's people tend to like use superstition to blame the bad things on their life when they're not actually taking responsibility. So again, there's all that. So like in some ways superstition is just fun. Um, but I think people put too much credit to it and they don't really take responsibility for how they live. Yeah, um, exactly. I agree. And I think when, when you believe like so deeply in, in these or just one of them, you kind of put aside your like the logical or the scientific uh, explanation. Yeah. You, everything you put it aside and you just believe, oh, this happened because I did this or yeah. someone like uh like the evil eye or something yeah. so you you we we put kind of all the the logic and the the mind and everything that that could be a reason why this happened but yeah. somehow we just don't put we it aside the, yeah i think sometimes it's about control like people feel we can control these things like by bringing by all the good luck actions we can control where some things are just out of our control so um we don't really want to think about like, Oh, bad things happened and we can't stop them from happening. Yeah. Let's just blame it, you know, on our own actions or not doing all our good luck charms or whatever that way, you know, next time I should knock on wood and then I won't break my leg after saying I've never broken, you know? So I think, um, 
people need more control, so they kind of created this too. Um, um, the next one I have is related to pregnancy and pregnant okay. women. Mm -hmm. So, um, for example, when a pregnant woman craves something, yeah, and she, uh, <laughs> for example, doesn't get it, and she start start like scratching a place, mm -hmm. they say like, like the baby will have a birthmark. Uh, in the shape of the food, right? In the shape of the food, yes, mm -hmm. yeah. So the shape yeah. of the food. Yeah. So uh, I mean, um, I think this is a like a good excuse for like pregnant women yeah. to get everything they yeah. want. Yeah. But I don't know if it's true or not. Like for example, I don't know. Some yeah. people say, "Oh, I did. I was craving this, and I didn't get it, and I scratched like my leg, and mm -hmm. then my baby has like just... the same thing on his leg." So. I, I don't just know. Don't know how pregnant women could remember, because like when I was pregnant, it's just like they call it like brain fog. Like you don't like you just kind of get really spacey. At really? least I did. I did. Yeah. Um, like and they call it mom brain. Um, I just I couldn't remember like every time I wanted a food and didn't get it and where I scratched if mm -hmm. I wanted. I could <laughs> not remember. And then after baby's born and seeing the birthmark, I would not like be able to remember. Like, oh, their birthmark's here, and four months ago I wanted chocolate because that's what I would have craved, and I scratched here, and yeah. I would not have remembered that. Yeah, so. I have a birthmark under my leg, but I don't know what's the reason of that. Yeah. Was it like my mom wanted, I don't know, something, and she didn't, like, she was craving yeah. something, and she didn't get it. I don't know if it's like a skin condition. Yeah. And I've seen, like, my friends with birthmarks, mm -hmm. but I oh, think yeah. there is an explanation, like a scientific one, yeah. why do you have that? stuff on like on your on your skin yeah well i mean no there's scientific because like my um my husband has one and my daughter has one the same kind um and so it's genetic because like uh -huh. it's like it's the same um i'm pretty sure it's genetic because i don't no one in my family has that kind it's mm -hmm. like it's one that um kind of it can grow Oh. And so I actually took my daughter to a doctor because I noticed it was getting bigger. And that's often like a sign of skin cancer if you have like a birthmark getting bigger. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, thank God he said this kind, it never turns into cancer and it's oh, normal good. for it to get bigger. Mm -hmm. And he said for her, it's actually lucky because it grew, this kind of could grow long ways mm -hmm. where it will become visible. But for her, it's growing like sideways on her stomach. So no one will ever like see, like, see it. it. Yeah. Um, but it's genetic, you know, mm -hmm. it got passed from her dad's side. The same so. spot? Or no, it, no, no, no. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I think I didn't grow up with that superstition. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just, you know, genetics and yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Ooh, okay. Do you have another one? Let me, um, I think... I've gone through all my bad luck ones, mm -hmm. but I mentioned salt. So I'll mention, um, they say if you spill salt, like on the table, like if you have a salt container mm -hmm. and like it falls over and the salt spills, they say you should take a pinch of it and put it over your shoulder for good luck. And I don't know why. <laughs> so, um, so, so can you say it again? If you spill salt, uh -huh. just take a little bit of it and throw it over your shoulder. So it's good luck. It's good luck. Okay. It's a good thing. Uh huh. Um, so, and I've also seen like in movies, a lot of time, like supernatural movies where they have to like protect themselves from like bad power. They'll make a circle with salt. With salt. Yeah. I saw that yeah, too. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. lots of different movies. It's like everywhere. Yeah. Um, and I've heard, like, people in real life doing it, too. Yeah. Like, if they don't want someone to come into their house who they think is bad, they'll put, like, salt on their door. Yeah. So I think salt is supposed to have some, like, Yeah, and also power. when they want, to, in movies, when they want to, like, undo a curse or something, they do, like, that circle with, yeah. with, with, with salt. Or the star with oh, it or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think salt is, like, sort of protection. Yeah, it's supposed to help mm -hmm. keep bad things away. So I think... Yeah, so just they say, oh, I spilled salt, throw it over your shoulder. So I don't know. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any others? Yeah, I have another one related to marriage. Okay. So, okay. And, and the broom. And we, yeah. Oh, the broom. Yeah. Okay, not so, the groom. The no, broom. the broom. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me. So, for example, if I'm sweeping, uh -huh. I should avoid sweeping under the feet of a single woman. Okay. Otherwise, she will not get married. For the rest of her life. So under her foot. Yeah. So she's like, sitting. And then, yeah, for example, like I'm sweeping mm -hmm. under your, 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 mm -hmm. your feet. Okay. I should not do that 
if you are like single. Yeah, interesting. But yeah. if you're married, for married, it's okay. Yeah, alone. yeah. Okay. That's for just single, single I women. Where that came from? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know because honestly, I didn't know about this one. But I, when I did my research for okay. this topic, I found this one, and I found people really talking about it and believing in it. And like, uh, my aunt never got married. Yeah, because, because this oh, have. Oh, yeah, okay. and it's Moroccan though. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Moroccan. I've never heard that one. Else. Me too. Me I'll too. Ask people I know, like yeah. if they've heard that. Because these, some of these I didn't know about, but when I did my research and I start talking to people yeah. oh do you know about this do you believe in this do you th th it's like because also there is a difference b between the regions in morocco yeah, so yeah. you have yeah. for example uh the every region b believes in stuff and the yeah. other region doesn't really know so mm -hmm. that's create also the differences between just the regions instead of like yeah, all, all over yeah, yeah yeah i think that happens i mean of course that happens in the u.s because it's this melting pot yeah. So you'll get families who bring traditions back from other yeah. cultures uh, or countries. And then you might have, yeah, and the U.S. is big. So you'll have like different people believing different things. Um, I'll, I'll tell you one. And I think it's funny because I, um, again, I don't consider myself really superstitious, but now we're having this conversation, yeah. I wonder. But um, even like when I was in high school, I did a summer camp. And it was um, kind of like in the mountains. And then we would drive in vans to go different places. So um, we're on like dirt roads. And then there are train tracks that we would have to drive over to mm -hmm. go to the camp and other places. And one of the teachers on the program is like, oh, if you want good luck, when we go over the tracks, um, touch a screw like a, a turn piece with the, um, mm -hmm. for like making things, for attaching yeah, yeah. things. Yeah. Um, touch a screw and lift your feet. And after hearing that, I will do it like every time. <laughs> and I used to just be in the car. I'm like, where's the screw? Where's the screw? <laughs> um, and then I realized sunglasses. I don't have mine now. Um, they have little screws um, yeah. in the front. So I'm just like, touch a screw, lift my feet and I'll get good luck. <laughs> I have never heard that from anyone else. Uh -huh. And it, I just find it so weird that I adopted it without thinking. Yeah. Um, I just, I'm like the only one besides the teacher who told me that who does it. Mm -hmm. I don't know where he got it. I've never seen it anywhere else. So again, there's really weird, like little things that I'd never heard of, but, um, but I just started doing it. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Better than the rabbit's foot. So. Uh, yeah. Especially if you live near train tracks, it's a lot of good luck. <laughs> So, um, um, I think my last one, mm -hmm. I think this one is very common. Okay. I, I mean, I mean, in Morocco, it's so common, mm -hmm. like don't, uh, pour, uh, hot water yeah. in the sink. Okay. Yeah. I because it's related to gin and then you, for example, you, especially after, um, like at night. Okay. I mean, during the day, it's okay. It's not bad. Yeah. Okay. Because it's, they say it's related to gin. And then mm -hmm. when you like pour hot water, it's like, you're going to burn him. Yeah. And then he will like, uh, like hunt, re hunt you or yeah. take revenge or something. So, so this, this one is really, really common. Okay. And yeah. that's important. Yeah. I've been yelled at for yeah. pouring yeah. hot yeah. water down the drain. Yeah. So. Yeah. Especially at night. Okay. So. Just... And some people say don't take showers at night. Because the water could yeah, be hot. Yeah. Okay. I do take showers at night. Yeah. 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 It's hard to avoid. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to avoid yeah. taking a shower at night. Yeah. And also there is one related to um, to uh, Wednesday. Oh. Yeah. For, for some, oh. yeah, for some region, uh, re, uh, regions in, in uh, Morocco, like Wednesday, you should not like take a shower and like a uh, on Wednesday, okay. uh, don't like, uh, you know, do laundry. It's like with water. It's like kind of they don't, don't stop their them. activities, but uh, most of the things they can do on Wednesday. I don't know why, because for me it's like a normal day of the yeah. week. But some people do believe in that. But now you say that I think when we when I like when I first moved here and we were planning like what day we would have our wedding, mm -hmm. I think we wanted to do a lunch and someone said don't have it on Wednesday. Oh, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Some think... people, they have like a certain problem with Wednesday. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. I like Wednesdays. <laughs> <laughs> so interesting. Yeah. Though. So this yeah. one is not really common in like in Morocco, but yeah. some regions, they do believe in that. That's like, a bad They date. avoid like taking a shower like uh, 
uh, what else? Taking a shower, doing the laundry. Having uh, parties or? No, no I don't no, think about okay. parties, but it's, uh, if they want to do something important, they avoid Wednesdays. Okay. Why? Okay. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so yeah. it's almost like Friday the thirteenth, but yes, but it's not related to it's, a number. So yeah, it's just the day itself. Yeah. yeah, and it's not like bad luck. It's just like don't do anything. Yeah, don't. Big, yeah, yeah, major okay. on on a Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. So yeah. So yeah. Well, do you still have? Stuff? I think I went through all my things. The umbrella we talked about. Oh no, walking under ladders. Mm-hmm. Um, and I didn't realize this until later like it's common in the u.s like don't walk under a ladder that's been opened so if you're like on the sidewalk and there's people doing work and they're on the ladder and they have it open you shouldn't walk um in between like under the ladder when it's open um and i don't know why but you'll see it in movies like about bad luck so it walks under a ladder yeah. um i mean for me it's just a safety thing like yeah, if they're painting yeah, like yeah. a paint bucket might fall yeah um i think this one doesn't scare me as like i don't think about it as much as others but it's a really common one so and i do know people in morocco who believe it too this one yeah yeah i've had people tell me like don't bring your kids under the ladder oh so, i don't know yeah, about this one yeah no. now i've heard that one so i mean as uh, you said this for for safety purposes yeah yeah no but, this person says bad luck bad luck yeah, like not safety luck. yeah so oh, wow. I don't know. I'll ask more people, I guess, <laughs> if they know about that one. Yeah. I, I, I honestly didn't know about this one. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I, for me, that's um, similar to the umbrella, kind of like common sense, like, um, you know, but yeah, it's the same general bad luck if you walk under an open ladder. ladder. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that was it. Yeah. So uh, we went through the boat yes. lists. Yeah, we had some stuff in common. Yeah, it was so, interesting. Yeah, we had like some of them like surprised me, and then some of like the ones I gave surprised you too. Yeah, and that was the point of this conversation. Yeah, uh, some of uh, the superstitions are are some of them are silly, but there are people who believes in them strongly. and uh, yeah, strongly. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah. So, so I hope you will like the episode. And good luck tomorrow. Yeah, and you you might share with us also the superstitions you like believe in and uh, stuff that you heard from your uh, grandmothers or something. Yeah, so comments. We, yeah, comment if you know any of these or if any of them surprise you too, or if you have any other ones. Yeah, and so, share yeah. with us the others. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for yeah. watching. Yeah. Bye, guys. See you.